this one left. Let's go. I never liked mountains. I never understand the meaning of mountains. You know, why you need to hike? Why you can't just go and enjoy, you know, peacefully? But there is some beauty in it. You know, you sweat and you walk and it's hard and it's difficult. But once you pass all of these obstacles, you can just... The same thing, it's valid for the ocean. Because if you want to float on top of the ocean, you have to pass all the waves who are literally crashing into you and try to bring you to the shore. And you need to put some effort to do that. Every day I am outside. Not all the day, but every day. And it just, I feel like my whole life is changing. It's been a month or so when we moved here and I feel like I am a new person. And it's just really, 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 really magical. And I feel like I am loving life again. I am so in love with life. I was always been curious on how this world works, why some people seem happy with whatever they have, and while some seems like they have it all, all the wealth and opportunities, when you talk to them you see that they are unhappy, or they have problems that no amount of money can solve. You know, sometimes you meet some people and you just click, and you want to enjoy their company and you don't know why. It is like this, but you just feel so good being in their company, being around them. While on the other hand, you see people that you knew before, maybe you know them for a long time, or maybe you were inseparable, but somehow you just can't feel comfortable in their present. And all you want to do is just leave them, or find an excuse to not meet them again to not talk to them. And I've been curious, why is that happening? This is the cave, the first one.
No, no, no. I'm gonna see the other caves. Nikola Tesla said that if we want to find the secret of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. Oh my god. This is a big cave. Bismillah. Somebody was sleeping here. And this is the view. Look at this amazing view. Gabriel, there is a big cave. Here? Yeah. You want to come to see? I heard this quote a couple of years ago, but my mind, or maybe I can say my ego was too big and I it didn't really resonate with me. I was like, oh yeah, that's like another physics stuff that I can't comprehend. Once I moved here, I don't know what's happened, but finally something clicked in me. And I was looking at this change of basically trying to understand what I did different, you know? These pens are not the Give me your thing. hand. Wow, it's somebody's house. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to this. Uh... We should camp here. <laughs> yeah. I realized that I started to connect with nature again. So I found Bob Proctor's talk about the law of vibration and he explained what is it in a very simple way that I think everybody can understand it, just at least grasp the concept. In the middle of the video he said that whenever you go for a walk in the forest you start to feel lighter, you start to feel happier and he said this is why, because the vibration of the nature is perfect, is absolutely perfect, nothing needs to be fixed or changed, it's just perfect as it is. Close to the sunset. I am so in love with this world, you know? I am so in love with this planet. It's always worth to take a hike, always. Also, by being in the nature, I started to find the inspiration to draw again and make comics for myself, not just for other people or for other collaborating projects. I made a sketchbook in Marrakesh in June, actually, and it was a bit scary to start to fill in in the beginning, since 
I spent a good half of the day making it. So, you know, you don't want to ruin it because even this process of creating it, like physically with your own hands, makes this box much more special to me. It's like when you are growing your own vegetables, they taste way better because you saw them grow from the seed, from the crop. It's so relaxing, first of all. I love the process of making books, but it also means that I'm gonna be more intentional in what I put in the sketchbook and more patient since this is what I wanna do with my drawings right now. So I draw this two-page silent comic and I use the reference of me hiking. And I didn't think much about creating it, I just wanted to use the real life references to tell the story. And even though, you know, I wanted to create it for myself, but when I was creating it, the thought that I should do something else, you know, like I need to work on projects that will bring me some sort of income was appearing. This is what usually happens when you start to do the things that you don't do usually. This sort of resistance is coming out of nowhere and it's very, very important to silent the noise that is happening and just do whatever you feel like it's the best at that moment. And that's what I did basically. I finished the drawing and actually I was so happy that I did it and I hope that next time when this thought is gonna appear because it's gonna appear because this place is unfamiliar right now to me. I will be like okay if last time I was so happy that I did it for myself maybe this time it's gonna be the same and I bet it, it will. So it's just like I feel like I am playing now with my mind, you know, with these thoughts and there is like two people who are communicating and I'm really trying to be intentional with everything that I do and it's this intentional living is literally changing my life. The village is, it's, it's small. It's, it's not so small that, but it's nothing to compare to the city. There is like one street where there is shops and that's about it. You have so much dogs, babe. In general, there is not too much toxins and, you know, people are nice in here, like, when they see us, they are really nice, not just because of something, but they are so nice and, you know, you want to be nice. You know, there is a market on Wednesdays 
We have to go to the souk to get all the supplies. It's the best food I ever eaten in my entire life. Every vegetable, every fruit, every nut, it's so delicious. It's like so rich. I don't know, maybe it was my place all the time to live in a village. I am trying to make every day count in here so I can, when I will be very old, I can just wrap in these memories and just be in this place because this place, it's the most beautiful place I ever lived and you can clearly see it. And yeah, so I will see you guys next week. I, I promise you, I will keep you up updated. If you are thinking of going for a walk, you have to do it. That's like a very good idea. You have to do it because after a while you always feel better. And that's true because the vibration of the nature, it's perfect. We just came from there, and the... Exactly. Look how it's changed very fast. 